I'm headed southwest through suburban Sydney. I'm on the trail of an engineering gem of the last century. A gem that once saved this city. 1880 Sydney was busy and growing. But water supply was always a problem. One drought after another had the city on the brink of disaster. Something had to be done. That something was the Upper Nepean scheme. Down this windy road is the Cataract River and historic Broughton Weir. The weir is one of the earliest bits of the Nepean scheme, dating from the 1880s. It's still part of the region's water supply system today. It's a protected area. Thanks to Google Earth, though, you get the gist. I've now arrived at Cataract Dam picnic area, just out of Abbott. It was the first of four dams built for the Nepean scheme, opening in 1907. Cordo, Avon and Nepean dams would follow in the next 30 years. Cataract's surroundings are certainly very picturesque. Its remnant gardens and buildings hark back to a different era. This fancy shack was built for water board members to hold their meetings. An avenue of phoenix palms and jacarandas lead to the grandest set of stairs down to the dam wall. You can really make an entrance. The wall is reminiscent of a castle and the old valve house is gorgeous. On one side, glorious lake views. Down below, a giant plume of water gushes into the Cataract River. It flows back to that weir we crossed, then through a tunnel and on towards Sydney. The way it gets to Sydney is fascinating. Let me show you. I'm heading next to the National Botanic Gardens at Mount Annan. Here you can see one small section of the 64 kilometre Upper Canal. It's still the only way to transfer water from those Upper Nepean dams to Sydney. It's been in continuous use for 135 years. The water flows by gravity alone all built in the days of the horse and cart. It ends up at Prospect Reservoir, kilometres away. The reservoir was completed in 1888. Check out the Gothic Revival style outlet tower, a real beauty. These days, Prospect is a less active part of the water supply system. And this is the now defunct Lower Canal that took the water onward into Sydney. But that is a whole other story.